Yo, what's going on guys? So, this is another Mastermind video. I was playing uh, Spencer on the new map for the, the Prism map. Now, my thoughts on this map, they, um, I think it's a survivor favorite map. Um, I think it's a very survivor favorite map, just as much as the, um, what's it called, Downtown. Downtown, I feel like, is also a survivor favorite map. However, um, like this map, you can still, I feel like Daniel, Daniel, Spencer now, and maybe Alex can also work the best on this map because it's very like tight corners. And the objectives are usually in this, these like very closed out rooms. So like having a strong creature, things like that, uh, especially infection, since they have to go inside the room and deal with the creatures. Uh, I feel like it, what this is what works best for this map. I don't, I definitely don't feel like this is a camera type of map like using guns and stuff like that because the angles are just so bad and there I don't think there's even a single room that you have two cameras looking at the same spot uh, except the exits of course so you see I already have my presets for the I have the liquor preset and I have these more infection based preset which is, is the one I'm using right now you see right there this is a trick I do sometimes you can if they're waiting at the other side of the door like that because they see you're controlling the zombie you can open the door yourself and then surprise them uh, that if they're standing like that, uh, like that it always works so right here I'm just trying to get some shots now it's really t the camera's so slow it's really tough to uh, track them see again she opened the door that's my preset because I have the zombie um, waiting at the door so they just have to deal with the zombies as soon as they open the door on the, the main pathways to the objective, I put place the zombies there. My idea here was to uh, mobilize her before she shot the zombie, but that was not enough time, unfortunately. Now, this is a very strong area right right there where I believe, unfortunately, they already went there when I was not paying attention. But you can actually place a key there on that that, uh, that room, and it's free because they have to go like on very tight corners to get to that room. It's like, it's like an isolated room, so it's really good to like put a lot of creatures in there um, like especially for Annette or something or Daniel where you have uh, very strong creatures it's really tough for them to just go by all of them so on a but you have to set the objective there using the preset because it, it's not by default the objective is not set there right there yeah I got the invincibility on the door that's really annoying um, I see that's the idea so the Jester screams so I'm not gonna mobilize her yet now that she got hit they now will mobilize her. Now the zombies cannot grab them while they're mobilized, but if you're controlling them, they they will grab them. You see, I got a few hits first, and then I I grab her once she, she leaves the uh, the uh, the the grab from the once she leaves the mobilizing rounds. Right there, I was trying to finish her finish her off, but the uh, the other guys were smart enough to shoot the camera. Now, spawning zombies on top of them like that is only effective if you have the infection. You see, right there, Jill, for example, got infected moving on to the next area just because I spawned a zombie right there on top of them because as soon as the zombie spawns the uh, the aura of the infection it's already counting so especially on the exits and things like that it's usually sometimes they spawn a lot of zombies there so they will move infected to the next area now another point of th about this map which I think is good for Spencer is that all, you pretty much you can see him using here pretty much all the uh, the rooms have a some kind of a switch that you can use to get your energy back. So I think that's what makes this uh, map quite uh, quite good for Spencer. As long as you have energy. I don't know if you noticed as well, but uh, I'm using a... If, I, if you saw my equipment at the start of the, the video, I'm using a very infection heavy base build on him. Which uh, I've, I've been found to work, to work best. Because uh, they just lo lose a lot of time because the infection, and it's pretty strong because they're constantly losing health. Uh, with this, with that, that kind of equipment that I was using, you see right there, she coughs because of the infection, and now she's gonna get grabbed again. So it's like it just helps a lot the infection. Uh, Spencer is also kind of a spammy build because he can get energy so fast, so he can sp put a lot of creatures on the map very quickly. So the fact that they're infected makes them like cough right next to the zombies, and they can't move; they can't shoot back. So it helps with the zombies attacking them as well, and uh, it helps a lot with you also shooting them with the cameras because they're just they're kind of standing still when they're coughing. So if they happen to cough and you have a gun ready, it's, it's usually uh, quite an easy kill there. 
And like I said, not to mention the time, they're constantly losing time because of the infection and health, so they have to heal. So now in this this I also have the preset ready. You see, I have the uh, the objectives on the rooms that are very closed out. So I have a you know so the stuff for them because they have to go through all those infection zombies and uh, to get the objective done. Uh, just so you know, you see that window I'm aiming right now. You can still shoot the gun through that window inside this room that I am looking right now. I didn't know that, but that's just know that's something you can do. Like the window doesn't have like a hitbox or something, you know, it's not like a wall. You can shoot through it. And it w you can shoot the device there if they're trying to put the card on through that window. The same way that they can shoot your zombies from the other side, unfortunately. <laughs> it's kind of dumb, I mean, what's the point? Like, having the room if they can shoot the zombies from the outside, but I mean, oh well. So right here I'm spawning the liquor instead of the others because I feel like he's going to put the, mo the most amount of pressure on them. So right here I'm going to use the mobilizing round and combine it with my uh, D field, get the two kills here, get a lot of pressure going now, like you see the others are also all infected. Oh and like I was saying with this equipment, uh, if, you, if you're manually controlling the zombie, it takes like three swings and they will be infected, they will get one level of infection. Right there I set the camera so the gen is distracted while the uh, liquor is also attacked, so she has to choose, she, she either shoots the liquor or the camera. Right there, she shot the liquor and she got a few hits on her from the liquor. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, three swings if you're manually controlling the zombies and they will get a, a level 1 infection with this build. And if they're just standing near the zombie, I think I believe it takes like 10 seconds or 9 seconds, 8, around that time for them to get a level 1 infection. Right here, I really wanted to get my machine gun, but unfortunately I didn't have enough points. So I just controlled the zombie. I was about to stop her, you see here, but she... Uh, <laughs> my hand was like touching her hair, but uh, I got hit out of it, so I was not able to, but that's fine. You see they're all infected, they're all losing health, coughing, so it's like the infection is quite strong, especially on this map. Um, you see right here, uh, the jester is really about, you see I'll, I'm also always placing the jester behind my, my front line zombies, because the jester is really just like a, a strategic kind of creature. You want to place them on, on spots where He's not far far away enough to where the scream will not stun them, but you still want him, you know, close enough to where you you can maybe even you yourself manually control him and use the the scream to stun the, constantly stun the zombies, so that the other zombies on the front line can actually attack them for free. See right here, th this shotgun weapon is really crippling, but uh, I'm using cooling fan as well, so I'm able to deal with this. Did just turn my camera right here. I have the shield, so I'll be able to probably down her here. Now, I see right there, values the power, so now I can't really down anyone. Yeah, usually, you know, those, those parts are really strong, so there's not much you can do as Mastermind to counter it. Uh, best thing I could do that if I had a, a creature near her, I could control the creature and, and smack her manually so she would cancel her power with the spray gun there. You see what I mean right here? Using the you self controlling the the zombie for the the screen. If there was other creatures there, it would be they would get all of them would pretty much get hit or, or bitten. Uh, but you see, I've also set up this next objective. I don't know if you noticed, but I set up with advance, so I already have like three or now I have a liquor, but I already have like three zombies there inside the room waiting since the way before. And uh, like I said, the the, the infection just eats their time away very quickly. And uh, they're constantly losing health, so it's much easier to down them with your guns. And if when you're controlling the, the zombies manually as well, again, see. So now they have to open the door. That that jester is gonna scream as soon as they enter the room, which means they're probably gonna get stunned. And you see right there, I also spawn zombies behind them and on top of them, so the infection grows even more. And I can also hit them from where they're not expecting. See, she's she's trying to rush me, so but there's no way she's like, she's gonna do the objective without killing the zombies first. And uh, just like that, you combine the bites with the time, in the the still time of the infection. They're constantly coughing. They have low health, so it's like one bite, a few hits, they're already down. You see, I also had the automatic camera on top there, so it was also getting some shots uh, at them. It's just like you know, this build is really just about overwhelming them with the energy, because you place creatures and uh, cameras shooting at the same time. 
<clears throat> and the infection just makes everything you know so much better and worse for them. So guys, that's the video. That's my opinion on this map. I think it's strong for Spencer, Daniel, and then maybe Alex. But uh, I think it's overall a survivor favorite map. If you know how to play, uh, it's pretty easy to win as a survivor. And yeah, guys, that's the video. See you in the next one.